the first half. Five of seven in the first quarter. Well, as we always talk about, first couple minutes here, very important. Railers need to climb back a little bit closer. Can't let Glenwood extend. Five-point advantage. Glenwood with the basketball. Van Hook's got to find a, stay, find a way to stay aggressive without fouling. Whoa! Oh, come on. You've got to call something there. Oh, man, is this physical. Almost looked like a little square dance, a little do si -do. Uh, Your guess were just banging on Allen and no call anywhere. Allen between the circles over to Thurston. I think the Railer coaching staff told them they need to get physical. Gates with another three. Wow. Yeah, if you got to get Allen Gates, he's the guy that sits in the corner, and the Railers are uh, got to close out on him. you got to run at him. Yeah, Josh, you pointed out they're finding him in the free throw at the free throw line. He can turn and find any point on the dial for a shot. Uh, Austin fires a three and hits. Okay. Still wasn't a good shot. We'll take it. Now, now we got to play some defense and guard somebody. 29-24, one minute in. Weathers only generated three turnovers in the first half, and one was an offensive foul. Yeah, they take care of the ball pretty well, and, our, and, our, and our press has not hurt them at there all. There you go. Tipped away, Railers with the steal. Glenwood got away with a foul as he was hooking, trying to go around uh, the defense, but we'll take the steal. Cook working against Esperim over to Block. Gesner on the right wing, trying to get a screen from Gavin. Gesner backs it out. 29-24, Railers down by five. Max posting up Esperim, kicks it back over to Gesner. Gesner with a nice catch. Block, he drives by his defender. Ball loose, picked up by Kirby. Austin to Max. You know, since they switched... Uh, since they switched Thurston on to... Uh, a Van Hook, he's really, really closed him down. He plays great positional defense. He's not particularly quick, but his feet are always in the right place, and uh, he's all, he always has his body in the right place. Yeah, we got to set some screens on him and get Chris yep. in open and get him going here as we did in the first quarter. He's got to get going here in the, in the third. Allen over to Esprim. He'll fire a three, and he'll hit. I tell you, for a good three-point shooter like Allen, he uh, turns down a lot of looks. 32-24. Cook into the front court, hands to block, not a Christian. Christian looking to make a move against Thurston. Wow. Top of the key, high arcing shot. That's oh, nice Gessner rebound. A high rebound for the Railers. Gesner trying to work against Allen. Kirby's going to drive the lane, contact. Foul's going to be whistled loud high. Nice job by Austin trying to make a move to the basket. Yeah, being aggressive. Although when we go to when we go to the to the basket, right, we got to have guys cut into the lane uh, because they, they they do good do good job of help side, and the Railers just standing in the corners. Well, if the Railers get any points out of this possession, a lot of credit has to go to Jordan Gesner, who came flying in for that offensive rebound. Yeah, he really skies. Out to Kirby. Five and a half to go in the third. Van Hook can really get up, too. Austin, top of the key, flips to Gesner. Gesner rises up three, spins in and out. No good rebound to Sharp for the Titans. You know, for me, watching the floor level, you really get an idea how high these kids can get versus where we are at Lincoln when we see them from a distance. Double team over to Gates. Down on the baseline. Thurston makes the move, kicks it back out to Esperm. Right corner three. Good again. They're stretching the defense and we're just not reacting. They're just taking us side to side. We're just not getting out. Another timeout taken by the Railers. 35-24. Glenwood has quickly extended to an 11-point advantage. Guys, they are on a 13-3 run. And it's all been three-point shooting. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd really just like to see our zone extend it and make them make them shoot a two-pointer. You know that? I don't know. Looks like they've only uh, only had just eight eight attempts from two. Yeah, that's what I got uh, right now, and 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 really uh, 14 now from three. So let's let them maybe maybe drive and, and have Christian down there and try and block some shots or do something because right now they're in a groove of penetrating or getting it to the free throw line and then kicking it out to the shooters and their shooters are just standing there waiting to shoot. Yeah, a, a very good game plan the Titans had coming in and uh, boy they've executed uh, very well and the Railers have not had an answer. Max, after the timeout, gets into the front court working against Esprim. Cook to Gesner. Gesner with a nice move. Pull up from 16. Nope. Left it short. Rebound down to the Titans. This can get out of hand here pretty quick. We really just need a good defensive sequence here. Allen skips it all the way across the zone to Gates. Van Hook did a nice job recovering inside there. Yeah, guys are starting to move with the ball. The ball's in the air. We got to get there. Yep. Esprim goes ah. baseline. Little floater up and good. We've given up that baseline three times in this quarter. 
You've got to put your foot out of bounds if that's what you got to do to not give him that line. 37-24. Really struggling to even find a shot here, Josh. Block looking for someone down low. Instead kicks it back out to Max. Austin will fire. Nope, he's going to drive in. Kick it over to Gavin. Gavin down go. the lane. Off the glass, and it hangs and falls. Yeah, good job by Gavin. Good. Going to the hoop. Yep. we got to get easy baskets. We settle for jump shots and three-pointers, and now the Railers got to get to the hoop. 37-26, almost taken away by Block. Glenwood, Thurston kicks it over to Gates. He's open for a three. Shot it a little long, but Sharp was there for the rebound. And we've got a timeout taken by Glenwood. Just a 30, so we will keep it here. 3.44 to go in the third. Glenwood on top, 37-26. And I think, guys, the uh, Lincoln bench was a little quizzical there because... Uh, I think they felt that the ball wasn't really in anyone's possession, and yet they gave Glenwood the timeout. That's where you end up in an argument with the coach over team possession versus individual possession. You can argue a rule book with a coach a great deal on those things. And sitting next to a coach, I imagine you've had that argument a time or two. Well, it didn't look like he had possession, but, uh, you know, we were kind of blocked here. But but back, but back to business, the Raiders got to get some stops here. You know, we've... Uh, We've come out lackadaisical in the third quarter on defense of, of trying to move while the ball's in the air. We're not moving while the ball is being passed. And uh, result of that, they're getting wide open shots. Really, Gates had one in the corner where he's hit several, and uh, he, he misses one. So, Raylan's got off the hook there, but again, he got a rebound. Yeah, um, Chatham's just moving the basketball, and you watch the Raylan's. They're trying to react, but... They're just spreading this all over. They're throwing cross court. Their uh, Rebels are giving up the baseline. It's just not, it's not been good here for the last three or four minutes. So after the timeout, Gates, top of the key, wide open for three. Back rim no good. Christian High tries to grab the rebound, and Dan Hook does. First defensive rebound of the quarter for the Railers. Block slips it back to wow. Hook. Man! <laughs> Block is really going at it. And they got a foul. Good, they got him. And I think they finally got Finally. The, I think they got Fuchs on that. Finally. You know, in spite of what Fuchs thinks, you can't just run yourself into the defender and bang him off his spot. That's a foul. Generally it's not a, how you play defense. <laughs> it's a foul every time. Wild play. They try to get it to Christian. Ball loose. Tipped out of bounds. It's going to be saved and done. Oh, my God. Oh, that's, a that's a three, right? That's a three. He got it. He threw it in trying to save it. He banked it off the board from 40 feet. And we've got a foul. Behind his back, too. Behind his back. It was unbelievable. That, yeah, you've got to watch this on uh, the replay, folks. You'll never see anything like that again in your life. He dove out of bounds, threw it behind his back, trying to save it. He banked it in perfectly. It clearly was a three. Yeah, but it might not be. Nope, they're giving him a two. It may not be if the other team shoots it. I'm not sure. Uh, we have to look at the way up here. No, it went in the basket from th Oh. Five two. You're correct. That is exactly correct. Because it wasn't a shot attempt. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, by definition, it wasn't a shot attempt. And a hold is going to be whistled on the Railers. That's a strange play. I, I would have got that wrong. Learn something every day. I would have got that wrong. And then I started to think about it. It wasn't an attempted shot. So it's only two points no matter where it goes in from. So that'd be the same as if, it, uh, if somebody bounced it right outside the three-point line and it went in. And, yep. really, and really what happened, the Chatham guy was trying to save the ball, going out of bounds, threw it behind his back, up and into the rail of the basket. <laughs> we'll take it, man. It broke a drought. Yeah, the problem with being down to Chatham like this is they can hold the basketball for a long period of time. And as we saw at Collinsville, they can shoot free throws. Yes, they can. Well, credit the points to Will Pod Belsick because he was the closest one to it. Allen's three. That's up and good. Too many wide open looks. Eight now and makes it 40-28. Yeah, and basically all it's been is a three-point barrage by the Titans. They haven't had any twos, uh, especially here in the third quarter. Block working against Fuchs. No, Tyler Chatham with one attempt, one two-point attempt this quarter. Gosner rises up for three, God. in and out. Literally. Flips it ahead, Christian tips it, and Christian wow. tips it in the goal. 
Love that. Wow. Just on. Who would have thought in the same sequence of two minutes? Weird. Wow. I don't think you don't see many of those in a lifetime, Jeff. We saw two in the space of two minutes. 42-28. Well, they gave us one. We gave it right back. Max drives in. Little floater. That's no good. McAdams the rebound. Rivers cannot buy a basket. 42-28. Minute and a half to go in the third. Inside, down on the baseline. Helm tries to go up, and a foul is going to be whistled on Block, who is in there trying to take the charge. So it's a block charge? No, they're actually going to whistle that on Christian. It looked like he held up the three fingers. I think. So it wasn't a block charge. No, they did give it to Gavin. Yeah, first foul on Gavin. At the line, Helm. Shooting two. First one up and good. Bobby checks in for uh, Block. And Boz checks in for Gesson. 43-28. Railers were as close as 22-21. Yeah. Boy, it's just and been then blown away. Adams been hitting the threes since then. Free throw up. He was and it's going to be a violation as he crossed the free throw line just a tad early. <laughs> yeah, you could say that. It's a loose definition <laughs> of the word tad. <laughs> so the Railers are down 15, a minute 20 to go. Here in the third. Olsen goes back to the right. Guarded by McAdams. Bounce to Cook. Max trying to work on Esprin, backing it in, go. backing it in, checks out to Will, open three, got it. Yeah, can post nice up. sequence. Yeah, and I think Max can, bat, man, can post up Esprin many times. He, yeah. he showed it in the first quarter where he had a good move. And Ball uh, floor, get it, Railers. Ball loose. Oh, now what, he just grabbed him and pulled him down, and there's going to be a foul. That should be an intentional foul. John Lincoln. No, I think they're calling a five, aren't they? The foul is going to be whistled. Man, how can Fuchs just grab somebody laying on the floor and that not be an intentional foul? So it's foul, a definitional. Foul whistled on Jake. Jake in the backcourt. Up to Fuchs, over to McAdams. 43 seconds to go in the third. Be nice for Raiders to get a bucket here at the end of the half, and the end of the quarter, and get uh, down to double digits starting the fourth. Inside, out. Thurston handing near the timeline. Down to 30 seconds, 43-31, Railers down 12. Well, this have to stand, Glenn was just going to stand there otherwise. Down to 15 seconds, over to Esperum. Flips it out to Thurston. Down to seven, makes a move. Watch the corners, there's McAdams over there. McAdams is going to fire an off-bound shot. I think Cook partially oh, tipped it, and foul. they called a foul on Max. I thought Max partially tipped it. We had a pretty good look for it here, guys. I thought Max yeah. had all ball. Yeah, well, there's caught a few breaks tonight. That wasn't one of them. So McAdams will go to the line shooting three. Although, Josh, it's not the first time this tournament no. we've fouled the shooter on the threes. Yeah, there was Monday night where we had the, uh, several of them. And uh, that, that looked like pretty good defense to, for Mark. Yeah. And, and the thing is, McAdams hit the floor. And you see a lot of people do that anymore. As soon as they shoot it, they're going to the floor where they can try and coax the ref in to, uh, to call on it. Yep. Second one. That one's good. Forty-four, thirty-one, one point three to go here in the third. Bobby and Van Hook going to try and box out and get this rebound on a miss. It's up and good. See if the Railers can uh, capitalize here at the end of the quarter. Cook shot on the way. Why not? That's no good. At the end of three, Glenwood forty-five, Lincoln thirty-one. Back with the fourth quarter in sixty seconds. You're listening to Lincoln. 
Wayland basketball. 